Hello felters and welcome. Today we're going to talk about needles, the different types, the numbers and what they all do. So hopefully in the next three minutes I'll answer all your questions. Let's get started. So needle felting needles come in numbers first off. You get a 32 and that is a thick needle. The lower the number, the thicker or bigger the size of the actual needle. Um, and they go up to yeah, 36, 38, 40, 42. Those are the general numbers. There are some, a few more, which I'll do in another video. I'll put a link below about that video. Um, and the higher the number, the finer the needle. So as a beginner, you would definitely start with a 36 or a 38. It's a nice big thick needle. It's less likely to break, which is really important when you start. And also when you start a project, you've got loads of wool and it's probably a lot easier if you use a big needle to try and get all that wool down. Or if you're using a very coarse wool, and use a big needle. As you get towards the end of your project, whatever you're creating, then you would go up to the finer numbers, which would be the 40 or the 42. So that is the size of the actual needle itself. All needles have barbs on the end, and these barbs drive the wool into itself. When you needle felt, something is only going to get smaller. The resistance you feel is when you push the needle in, and then when you pull the needle out, it comes out cleanly. The barbs go in the downward direction to get the wool in. So the next thing we're gonna consider is the shape of the needle. You've probably heard of triangular. Oh, by the way, the numbers are in uh, G, which means gauge. That's all it means. It's just to help you with the size. Um, so the shape of needle, triangular, is definitely a really good starter needle. So a 36, 38 triangular is your basic needle for most people to go to to begin with stuff. So triangular is just the shape of the needle. It is in a triangular shape. The next needle you would consider is a cross needle. So it's, it's cross or star, they call it. So it's kind of like that and down, there we go. Um, and that is, it's a very good general all round needle. It's not the thickest needle. It could break quite easily if, unless you're careful with it. So again, it's um, midway through a project towards the end or the finer detail. And then the next needle you get is a spiral. And a spiral, literally, the needle spirals down. Again, they're quite weak. So you would only use them for the outside and for the finer details and the finishing details. Um, and the more specialist needles like the star and the spiral will give you a more professional, smoother finish. I'm going to do a video on how to get a smooth finish with needle felting, very popular subject. First one here is the triangular, and you can see the barbs just on the end of it. Those are the little notches. This next one is the cross, very tricky to see that one. And then the spiral, which I think is the prettiest. So that was the sizes of needles and the shapes. Beginners are 36, 38 triangular. And then the last thing I'm gonna mention briefly is needle holders. Actually, we'll do the pen one first. This is a pen type. It's got um, three needles in it. It will help you speed up your work. Be careful because this one I bought doesn't open, so I can't replace the needles. Get one that does open up so you can replace the needles if they break. The next one I really love is a wooden handled one. This has got three needles in it. This pulls out and you can open up and change the needles. And very niftily, they store back into the handle when you're traveling. Um, I would really advise getting um, a range of needles, say five needles of different types and trying them out and just seeing which ones you like. And you'll get sent a code with the colors. The needles will have colors on the tops. Uh, you can see some of those colors there. And then you will know which ones are which from the code. Keep the code, it's really important. So that's it for needles. Um, I do a much longer video discussing types of mats, types of needles, and types of needle felting tools. So that will really help you. I'll put the link below. Um, I do a lot of other videos on tutorials and I do a needle felting essentials as well. And that really helped. It was kind of like these are the videos I wanted when I first started looking. I do simple tutorials on sheep and cows and I do slightly more in-depth ones on sheep like that and I do time lapses on horses and I've got loads more videos to come so do subscribe do like this video because that really helps me keep making more videos and thank you for watching